Hello fellow gamers and welcome to another episode of The Joy of Building. Thank you so much for joining us today. If it's your first time with us, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. Thank you for giving us a shot. I do hope you enjoy it. Consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you do. And if you're a return rev returning viewer, thank you so much for everything that you do. You know, your views, your comments, your engagement. I just love it. But yeah. Let's just get right to it. What do you say? Vitals are... Eh, they're okay. And they're getting better by the second. Am I right? Right. Looks like we might struggle with water for a little while. That's okay. We're kind of close to one of those purple mushroom trees, so we'll have a nice little steady supply of those lovely, lovely mushrooms. But yeah. Let's get started. Uh, it rained all throughout the night as I slept. It did not stop once, so we are in the heavy throes of the rainy season. My favorite, right? <laughs> Everybody's favorite? I guess it's better than not having a lot of water. I mean, we don't have a lot of coconut shells, but we can get some more out here uh, as we wait. Yeah, there we go. As we wait for a mud water filter uh, to be created by us, of course. I'm just picking sticks up and stuff real quick. Just taking advantage of the spawns that happen overnight. Just so we'll have some firewood. Don't want to use up all my charcoal just yet. I'll take that guy with me just in case. But yeah, okay, great. Yeah, forgot. We've got two of these trees over here. Oh, thought I saw something fall. Whew, armadillo. Okay. We built this stand last time. But yeah, let's just get into it. I'm sure you folks are chomping at the bit for some building. The last thing I want to do is disappoint. I think one of the things we may want to do... Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Literally and figuratively. I might keep him up. I haven't quite figured it out what I'm going to do with him yet. Um, kind of like where it's at, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and let's just get started, right? Whoa! Not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. This is what we wanted. I think that might be a good spot for it. And then again, we might have to chop that poor guy down. We might not have to. We might not have to. Okay, good. We'll figure it out as we go along. I keep hearing that armadillo. That's going to be a fun dynamic to this. Starting to get a little light out here. I like that. And our first tree that we felled, I think. Uh, I know we got some skinny boys uh, for that other stuff. The holders and stuff. But that might be the first tree tree that we felled to christen this area. Make use of the natural resources around here. Oh, whoa. That was cool. Need some chonky boys. Where are they at? Where are you at, chonky boys? We might as well get this rope while we can, right? Because we love running out of it. Ah, here we go. Just what the doctor ordered. Uh, that's funny. All it takes is one stick. Yep, literally one stick to make us overweight. You always want to be under 45 pounds, whatever unit of weight they use. I don't know if it's kilograms or pounds. All right. Oh, and I didn't make a note of where what where we knocked that other tree down. It was somewhere over... Was, no, it wasn't this one. Definitely wasn't that one. So we may have lost some long sticks. We did not. Yay. Well, we didn't lose one of them. There's the other one. Excellent. And here we go. This is just one of many ideas that I have for this area. Going around a couple different, different ideas. All right. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Um... I still, hmm, there's something, just playing around right now, just freewheeling it. Ah, ha, 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 Okay, okay. 
We'll see. Good to know. Why are we so heavy? Eh. Yeah, we're carrying a house on our back, basically. Oh, hello. But y'all to good use, most definitely. And there is bound to be an ant bed around here somewhere, more than likely. Okay. Let's make special note of that, where that fell, so we know where it's at. But yeah, I figured we could build something overlooking this beautiful river. I don't want to get too close because we can fall. Just kind of see where it takes us. I have a basic framework of what I want to do. No blueprints or anything crazy like that, but, uh, you know, it's a basic idea. And that can change over time. Sometimes I make an executive decision in the moment and completely change everything. Well, completely is probably a strong word, but change stuff. <laughs> I know, Jake. Okay, those fell over there. They might have gone downhill, so we might have to chase them. And if we do, that's okay. We're down for a little adventure, right? Thought I heard something out there. Yep, sure did. It sounds really close. I see him. Appears to be just one. Little energy boost there. Oh, and it is a boat. No, it's a spearman. Okay. There we go. Little one, two. Come on. There we go. And there's the spear. 100%. 59, 98. Yeah, I like what I have. I'll just go ahead and get rid of that stuff. And our long stick was, some, was right in front of us before we uh, dispatched of him. And I know some of y'all are saying, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Now the native activity is going to be crazy in this area. I don't know if that's true or not. I hear a lot of folks saying that. I, I haven't noticed a rhyme or reason to native activity. Now, in one of our live streams, our lovely uh, friend, tribal council member Mia, decided to light a bunch of fires, and that seemed to stir up the natives. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Ah! picking this up and dropping it, but drink. Eh, we'll have to find the other one, I think, uh, when we find it. I'll just put it that way. It's down there somewhere. But in the meantime, we've got a couple bowls of refreshment over here. We're going to need to clear this area out anyway. Yeah, they, they probably rolled downhill. We'll probably find it later. Later, later. <laughs> I think I think this is as bright as it's going to get. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but uh <laughs> I don't know if it's going to get any brighter than this. 
Um, ah, we don't need that right just this second. Okay. Got all these sticks laying around. And you know what I think I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to pick all these bad boys up. Just so we have them. We're probably getting pretty weight. Pretty weight. Pretty close to getting overweight. We're not. I mean, we still got room. Just picking up these little sticks. And where was that snake? There he is. Let's go ahead and harvest him. Mmm. A little vodka cranberry tonight. Delicious. Was that? Yep, of course we found it. And, okay. Destroy. I'll destroy one of these. Can't use all of them. And I can't carry that with me without being overweight. We just have to remember where it's at. Okay. There's our tribesman. There we go. Actually, I don't want to put all these in here. I don't think I, it'll be kind of a waste. And we'll put one little guy in there. Just because we have more room over in that one than we do in this one. Yeah. Want this snake meat cook up. It's almost done. Just a nice little snack, a little boost of energy for us. meat soup. That would be overkill. 72 proteins, 22 fats. We'll probably save that for later. This guy, we still got another day on. I'm just going to get rid of this. There's got to be some more sticks in the general area while that cooks up. Don't want it to burn, though. I mean, we can, we will be, you know, would be our first burnt meat that we eat. It's just nice that, you know, we just don't let it burn. <laughs> Perfect, and I'll just go ahead and harvest these Just so we get as many as possible So that we can fill our stick holder up and What I may do off camera I may create stick holders for uh, long sticks and logs I haven't made my mind up yet Just, just to have something Alright, and we'll take Mr. Snakey Snake to go There we go. And we still got some time on the mushrooms. Um, yeah, there we go. What was it? Down here? A stick? Long stick? It was over around here, right? Yep. Just did a little loop-to-loop -loop there. Oh, sorry, Jake. Man, that thing makes such weird noises. <laughs> sorry, buddy. You're just making too much noise. Okay, they fell right there, no problem. I like to keep an eye on where the logs fall, just because then I know where the um, long sticks fall. So it fell around here, kind of went this direction. Yep, a little bit of rope on the ground. Great, we got six. I think that was... No, no, okay. There we go. And the other one is not far. Yep, there it is. We've got all these little doodads, all these little sticks and stuff on the ground that also happen when you knock down a tree. I'll go ahead and probably pick those up off camera. That's a skinny boy. Pick these up. And yeah, we're getting close. That'll do her right there for now. 
Yeah, we don't want to pick up any more. There we go. Getting a little deep into the whoa, into the jungle. Oh, that's that fell perfectly. That's exactly how I wanted it to fall. Back towards the base. What will soon be our base. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I was like, why is there only three? One was literally exactly on top of the other one. Okay. I know right now it looks pretty standard. We're going to jazz her up. We're going to jazz her up a little bit. See what kind of food I have. I'm gonna go ahead and eat him. A little snack. A little snake snack. Okay, I'm also, while I'm heading back here, I'm scouting for uh, trees. I think this guy's full, yeah. We'll just go ahead and make use of these. I saw some trees over here that we'll be able to do some lumbering on. Love this metal axe. Ah, so good. Nope. There it is. And there's the other one over at 10 o'clock. Good. these right here. Don't want to lose them. Yep, that's a good spot. And we'll take these guys back over. Ooh, I saw something I like on that log. Nice little tiny energy boost. But hey, six energy, that's more than that rattlesnake. Or, you know, I could just take these with me and find another tree. I thought I saw another one over here. Yeah. Okay, we got... Okay, there it is. Sorry, I hear something out there. Okay, big rock. I hear something out there, and I'm not familiar with any predator activity around here. Predatory activity. Not the actual predator, even though this is the right setting for predator. So, I don't know if I'm going to get jumped or not. If I do, that's fine. I feel pretty capable, but I'm not invincible, as y'all have seen twice, I think, in the two odd years I've been playing this. Well, not two, maybe a year and a half or so.
Might as well eat those. They're going to go in a little while. Energy boost. Nothing to shake a stick at, am I right? Okay, that won't go, but this one will. That's interesting. And I don't mean that one won't build there. I knew one wouldn't build there, but I didn't know that one would build right there. This is where when you make plans and stuff, you see something and it adds a little bit of character to your base. Just a little playful mistake, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this might be a problem. Eh, we'll work around it. It's not a big deal. But, um, just a little happy accident, a little playful mistake. Turns out to add a little flair to your base, so I kind of like that. I'm going to get to keep that, and who knows, we might be able to build another one here. This is starting to go up, so I probably wouldn't go much farther than that. What was that? Sounded like a tapir, but I don't think there are any tapir around here. So yeah, we'll see. That'll either work or it won't when I pull it over this way. But this, I think, is, is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, good. And we can still get through these. It's just the one over here that's kind of weird. But, um, we'll, we'll again, we'll work around that. Even if we just kind of wall it off to make it look even more interesting and have something... Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out, guys. And gals. What was that? Oh, feather? I don't think we need any feathers. Our arrows are doing great. Yeah, we're good. We can leave that on the ground. Mmm. Bunch of skinny boys, but not a bunch of chonky boys. Nice. That's great. Oh, pretty much landed in the camp. I love it. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. How did I miss you? <laughs> Whoa! Well, <laughs> no pun intended. I guess that's how you miss him. But before we do that, because I had carbs on the mind, let's go ahead and get this guy. A heart of palm. Great source of carbs. That's a stick gamer. There's the heart of palm. And you know what? Look at that. We also have a couple of palm leaves. Where did I put that thing? That little devil. There it is. There it is. Just getting my bearings. I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay, so that one's back over that way. Okay. Just using some strategery here. Is that it? Yep. Fire's doing not too bad. It'll be okay. We might want to look into building a mud mixer not necessarily for mud walls yet but to get our charcoal furnace going so much stuff so much stuff to do Is that a bird yeah we're good Man, lots of sticks. I for always forget how many sticks we get at the start of a new build. <laughs> yeah. Just 
makes it easy. Well, nah, we're not gonna drop that many in. We'll put these right here. Nice work, gamer. I thought they were gonna go neatly in a stack, and it said, not today, gamer. Not today. Yeah, we might consider building another uh, couple stick stands over here. gonna need a shell but we could use the meat uh, just the idea of wasting stuff I mean, the shell is one thing but the meat just doesn't feel right it just doesn't seem to game away right but it is nice not hearing him go Rear. sorry thought I heard something it is nice not hearing him go Rear. every five seconds so that's, that's a benefit. Oh, we got two pieces. This takes a while to cook, too. And it's about time... Almost time to eat the heart of palm. But it is time to eat the unknown mushroom. Because we are running low on energy. And we'll just drink that. Keep our water up. That's great. One good thing about the... Uh, about the rainy season. You don't have to necessarily worry about water for a while. So now that it's starting to get a little dark, oh, a lot dark. Wow, that just came out of nowhere. Um, what the? Okay, okay, good. Yeah, they just seem kind of low for a second. <laughs> That's all right. Now that it's getting kind of dark, and we have access to so many long sticks in the area, I think what I might do... So where is our stick stand? I mean, our palm leaf stand. It's not all the way down here, is it? Well, even if it is, we're not going to build it that, that far down. Ooh, there's it. Okay, good. Since we're not really going to build much in this area... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll kind of build them just a little farther away so if any of those little purple dudes, purple mushrooms spawn, we still have access to them. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. God, all these sticks. Yeah, we'll have to pick these up. It's a skinny boy, right? Yep. I don't know if I'm going to make one for logs or not. We could. Um, no, we should. We should. Because, again, it's not like we can build much over here anyway. And this way, I can go harvest stuff if I have to go farther and farther out. Then we can, you know, spend time on our intellectual pursuits. Here we go. I was like, you know, before I saw all these skinny boys everywhere, and I'm just not seeing them now. You just gotta know where to look. They're out there. Case in point, right here. It's right behind me. Mm, there you are. It is late. Okay, so we've got our log and our long stick holder over here. I'll probably, possibly off camera. Ooh, and don't worry, I know I have leeches on me. I just saw something. More gifts from the forest. I love it. 
Whoops. Uh, three will be good. Three will be good. Let's go ahead and just drop these boys in here. Get rid of these leeches. The fire will help calm us. But if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Also, I do have a Patreon account if you're, if you're interested in contributing to the channel. All sorts of cool little, cool little perks and benefits of being a Patreon member. And I mean, I'm going to toot my own horn, butter my own rolls for a second. Uh, I, I do like the descriptions that I created uh, for each individual tier in Patreon. So there's a link down there. Also, check us out. We stream anywhere from two to four times a week. Um, there's my there's a link down to Twitch um, where you can see the schedule, along with a link to Facebook Gaming if that's something that you're interested in. But with that out of the way, I wish you happy building, safe building, and many blessings. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to get into the really fun stuff next time.